Dr. Powell, thank you for joining us. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Okay, so there can be no way for us to capture the trials, the joys, the lessons that you have learned and experienced in 24 years with Panola College, but would you take some time to share part of your journey with East Texas? Sure, I'll tell you, it, it, it has been a fantastic uh, 24 years. I'll tell you that when I uh, came to Panola College, I did not expect it to be my last uh, position. But uh, the community embraced us, the faculty, staff, and we have just loved the entire 24 years here. Um, just immediately before coming here, I was at Georgia for four years. But before that, I was at Kilmore College for 12 years. And uh, my family's been in Tyler since 1843. So it was really nice to get back to East Texas. Yep, I bet. So what would you say has attributed to a lot of your success there at Panola College? I saw that the student population has doubled since you started. Yes, um, uh, we're not quite back to where we were uh, pre-pandemic levels, but we did uh, double our enrollment. And I think that a lot of it had to do with the upgrade of facilities. We have either renovated or uh, built, completely built new uh, 21 buildings in the 24 years that I have that I have been here. And I'll tell you the, the, the feeling of family. Um, we have been recognized for 12 consecutive years to the honor roll as a great college to work for. And while the comments are anonymous, one word keeps coming up over and over again, which is family. And that's students, it's faculty, it's staff. Um, um, I, I cannot go uh, to uh, HEB or Brookshire's or, or Walmart without being stopped and people telling me how pretty the college is. And unlike a, 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 a lot of colleges, we really do embrace the community on our campus. So the Rotary Club meets here, the Book Club meets here, the uh, Lions Club meets here, um, uh, the Music Club meets here. And I went to brunch on Sunday after church a couple of weeks ago, and I think that we had um, more than 200 people from the community that were eating with our students on campus. Wow. And so there's a real uh, sense of pride among the community in Panola College. And so I think that, that the students, the faculty, the staff, the community all feel like uh, they are invested in Panola College. And I think that that has contributed to our success. Well, and I made a couple calls in preparation to talking with you, and it's interesting that you use the word unity and community and family because those are three of the words that I heard. But what I heard from the people that I talked to um, said that it is a reflection of your leadership. That is why the Panola College community and family is so strong because of you. It is just, it trickled down from you. And so I commend you for being such a great leader for 24 years. I heard nothing but positive things about you. Uh, that's that's very kind. It, it certainly has been a, uh, a a team effort. Right. So, what is your hope for Panola College moving forward? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. There are several projects that I regret that I did not get to. But I told my wife that um, the projects that we did many years ago, it's now time to replace. HVAC units and renovations and um, purchasing new furniture and recovering and I said the job will never there, there will never be a perfect time to retire uh, so I think that we need to um, the, the the new administration needs to take a long hard look at programs make sure that we have the programs that uh, are getting our students good jobs um, we have an energy program here at Panola College, and I know one of our employees' son graduated in, in December, and he was offered a job here in Panola County at $125,000 starting pay. Wow. Um, that's a lot of money. I said, please don't tell the faculty because that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a lot of money. Uh, so I think that we need to continue to look for programs that offer good um, good salaries, and then I think that we need to take care of our facilities and our grounds as as well. Uh, there are, uh, in my opinion, three buildings that still need attention, one pretty quickly. Um, and I, I think, that, let me give you an example. In 2009, we renovated our 
1965 library and we also doubled the size and prior to that uh, we were only averaging 600 people a month who entered the library through the electronic gate and counted them. When we opened it in 2009, that number jumped from 600 to 7,000 people. And so it is just, uh, if you build it, they will come. Yeah. We're opening our new energy building. Uh, we have a ribbon cutting on, on May the 22nd at 10 a.m. And that's going to allow us to triple our capacity. And I think that we'll see the same thing. We opened a new music building about two years ago and we have, we're seeing uh, students come to us, just for example, Alvin High School. Uh, typically, we wouldn't attract people from the Houston area, uh, but they are coming here because of our music building, because of our music faculty, and the beautiful campus that we have, right. and the caring faculty. And I will tell you that, that we are all about student success, and if it means that we need to go to the extra, extra mile, um, and by that I mean uh, meet with students after scheduled office hours or, or, or what have you, we do it. We have emergency funding, um, we have uh, uh, full-time mental health counseling, we have so many things in place to help our students be successful. Right, and I think having that open door policy, if you will, that you just um, mentioned about your faculty makes all the difference in students lives. I went to law school and I think that made a huge difference in the success of our students and so I think that it just helps you all and helps attribute to that growth and that family that, that you've mentioned several times today. Yeah, well, at a small college like Panola, people certainly notice. I know that that uh, we had a choir concert last Thursday. The second to the last song was dedicated to me. I told them they intentionally made me tear up. Uh, and then on Sunday at three, we had a band concert, and people know that you're there. And particularly the faculty, when they're able to to go into the classroom and say. Um, Jose, I saw your watercolor exhibit in the gallery in the library, it was fantastic, then I believe and I think that most of us believe that when students uh, know that we care about them, they're going to work hard to be successful. Right. When they when they feel wanted, needed, and valued. They're gonna work even exactly. harder. And it sounds like that's exactly what uh, you all are doing. And so is there anyone that you'd like to thank for your 24 years at Panola College? My wife, first and foremost, I could not have done this job without her support and just having a fantastic um, board of trustees uh, who uh, they hired me, they set policy, they adopt the budget, which includes the tax rate. But other than that, they have uh, let me run the college, uh, which has been very nice, and the faculty and staff have been very supportive. Uh, and as I say, it's, it really is a, a family. And then the, the students, the students stop by. Dr. Powell, are you coming to the volleyball game? They see me in the dining hall. Dr. Powell, are you coming um, to the choir concert? And so that's that. the whole Panola College family, but starting off with my wife. That's a good answer going into retirement, Dr. Powell, starting off with your wife. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So is there anything that I haven't asked you that you want to share with the East Texas community? Well, just that we are really going to miss um, Pinola College and this community. Um, we will be relocating to uh, Houston uh, to be near our oldest daughter and our grandchildren. And we're, we are excited. We are excited about that. Uh, the the Penola College Board of Trustees did confer upon me the title of President Emeritus, and um, with that means I will receive invitation to um, all the fun college events. So we will be returning regularly to visit Penola College and to visit family in Tyler as as well. That's great. Well, Dr. Powell, I believe that education is vital to our society and you serving as a leader in education for 24 years will have a domino effect that you may not ever see, but it will be a positive effect on many lives. So congratulations on 24 years at Panola College and we thank you for joining East Texas Now. Thank you. It was my pleasure. All right. Enjoy your retirement. Thank you.